Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2020. It's career mode episode 117. We're in the middle of the Giro d'Italia. And currently we lead this thing. Pavel Rodriguez has a single second lead uh -oh, Leo, ahead of Pavel Sivakov. But even though it's really close at the top two, gaps open up pretty quick. We've already had two time trials and there's a good two minutes separating Rodriguez from a lot of contenders. So he's got a nice advantage. I do not make us the favorite in this race, as we talked about last time at length at the end of the episode. But I do predict that we're looking at maybe third or fourth place at this point uh, for the overall. And right now we've given ourselves a really good, good, strong advantage heading into the real race, which starts today. Big, big finishing climb. Three big climbs, and we're on the first of those right now. 13.7K, 1,300 meters of climbing, 7% average gradient, pretty steep near the top. We very well could see riders going out the back before we get to the top of this one, and actually looking at it, Gazzoli already, already halfway through this climb is done and going to start going backwards, and we are already seeing the peloton shrinking long before Gazzoli is going to see himself out the back. 16-man breakaway. First of those riders has been dropped. Uh, surprising that 15 are strong enough to uh, continue the climb as the peloton is shrinking at a much faster rate than what the breakaway is. Apparently it's a strong breakaway group today. Uh, Vermark, Carlos de Mello, they're doing okay. Rodriguez at least has a plus one. Finally, it's not something he's uh, managed too well. He, he does not have any sort of fitness bonuses for this race. And Gazzoli nearly, nearly made it over the top with the Peloton, which goes just under 100. I'd imagine a group or two, which Gazzoli is close enough that he might, two and a half minutes behind, might regain contact. Peloton's going to be spread out pretty far. They're going to the cover at least a minute, minute and a half of Some gap. So Gazzoli's group, maybe, maybe they regain contact. Uh, either way, from about 100 riders now. The next climb is only a cat two. It's shorter, but it's steeper. It, it, you know, they're starting from a similar elevation, and they're going to a fairly similar. They're, they're starting a little higher, finishing a little higher. It's about the same, but it's covered in a shorter distance. To me, that's a bigger climb really than the other the one. Uh, far, but whatever the point may be up. on that, Peloton's actually oh, shrinking Apparently, and not the uh, coming together. And meanwhile, Gazzoli's group is now three minutes, three and a half minutes behind. So actually, Gap has grown by a minute. So it looks like Peloton, it's pushing. It is pushing on this descent, and you can see that actually we have not seen much recovery at all uh, within the group. So Johnson, let's send him back, get some water. We're at 110k to go. We'll need water one more time along the way. But the peloton, surprisingly, has gone smaller by 30. The breakaway, still at that 15 riders. They still have two-minute gap. Two minutes is not much on this big of a climb, and being alone like that, is not going to be good for their chances but i'm very surprised that on the descent the peloton has gotten smaller by 30 and i did not notice any crashes though i'm not saying that there weren't any because i was not paying that much uh, close attention a venipole is in the break surprisingly i'm really surprised he was allowed to get in the break today all right, you can see out of 75, we are blink and red and struggling. Let's go ahead and set that to 80. Prepare ourselves as we go across the flat. This is everybody, right? Besides uh, Gazzoli, of course. He's got it himself in a pretty large group. There's one more group in between that is two and a half minutes back, meaning they don't have a lot of gap to cover. But at the pace we keep pushing, uh, it's no surprise that the groups are not recovering and getting closer. Peloton's just getting smaller and smaller. So surprising to see that on a descent. Johnson, Carlos de Mello, never recovered. Vermark, never recovered. That's a really good sign for the climb to come that a lot of this Peloton is going to be in a weakened state. Ultimately, it's going to come down to the big climbers. Right now, we are good on support when it comes to Gin, uh, 
Killen is looking good right now. Millar is looking pretty decent. Uh, Rodriguez is the one who is unprotected right now, though. We need to switch that up, and we're probably going to take that off from Millar, who's on a minus two today, who is the one protecting him. These are not matching up terribly well. Who's in front of Millar? Carlos de Mello. Carlos de Mello. No, he's protecting Gin. Or is he? <laughs> okay, he is on Millar. Be nice if the colors actually matched up. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Uh, looks like one group regained contact. 76 riders now in the peloton as we hit the base of the climb. Uh, but that group that regain contact you figure they've got to be a really tired considering how uh, tired these guys are the in the group. peloton the pace that we were pushing 10k 1400 meters eight and a half percent again i i don't see why this is the cat two where the other one was a cat one if anything i'd reverse that or make them some same category steeper skinnier road this is a tougher climb in every sense of the word. All right, Rodriguez holding fine at the front. He's got plenty of energy. It's a nice, long, steep descent on this. It'll be a good chance to recover. Those 15 breakaway riders are actually out to two and a half minutes. Uh, and again, we got to be careful with that because Avenipol's in that group. I have no idea how. How or why Eventipol was allowed to join that group when he's top five overall. All right, fatigue setting in a little bit. Let's get a check on our team. There's a split, a big split. Peloton all of a sudden is just 21 riders. Killen was doing okay, but he has dropped, and I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, we don't need to be, well, this is a group of seven. Killen, why don't you make your own way? Try to go forward, please. That peloton just shattered halfway up this climb. Johnson going backward. Set him to auto for We're Mark. Doing quite well for himself. Zero race day condition. Killen going solo. Uh, Millar is now going solo, but he's struggling to keep pace anyway. Gin doing a little bit better. Uh, needs to be protecting Rodriguez here in the near future, but 3k to go on this climb. Yeah, Pilar struggling here. Killen, meanwhile, is regaining contact potentially with the group. Malar in the secondary group, but I think I like his chances of uh, getting back up there. Let's go ahead and get that protection for Rodriguez. We also need to speed up a little bit. Again, now close enough. Meanwhile, Killen. Okay, Killen, we need to just kind of hang with this group. We might get back up there. So this is 22. Some of this is picking up some of those breakaway riders. Rodriguez, okay over the climb. He will recover again. Still here. That's really helpful. All right. Now, quick check-in. 21 riders. Danny Martinez, Chicone. Uh, up the road. Did they attack? Yates up the road. Latour up the road. Some of these guys are real contenders who have lost a ton of time. They are not time trialists. They lost time on a previous stage. They're competing for the KOM. 22 riders there. Killen is close. I'd love to see him get back. He's on a plus two. He rides with Oliviero Paulus back here. Berial. It's a good group. It's not that far back to Millar, but Millar has definitely lost some ground. Let's go ahead and set him to auto. Killen, just in case, let's set him to auto, and if we see him, we see him. So get in Rodriguez in a very small peloton as we approach the final climb. And the final climb itself is classified much shorter than what we actually see. The moment we get to this valley, we start going uphill again. Uh, Avenipol now down to 7th on classification. Does that mean Avenipol is back in this group? Did we catch Avenipol? Have we passed Avenipol? Nirmikov, Bernal, McNulty, Andrade 
Pogachar, Sivakov, Soler, Lopez, Rubio, Bookman all here. I do not see up the road. Uh, and actually, that's everybody up the road now. So there's nine riders left up the road and then 22 here. You figure the three and two might be caught. The four, not necessarily. Uh, shoot, we're almost to the bottom again. Water, water, I forgot about the water. Again. Hand up, hand up, hand up. A little quicker, bud. A little quicker, because we're already at the base, and we're going to start climbing immediately. I don't want to waste your energy. Gin and Rodriguez have recovered on this descent. That's good. Uh, Killen has recovered. He is a minute five behind this group. All right, water's taken care of. We're good there. 40k to go, and it's all uphill. Right now it's gentle. It's 1.7. There's two now, and we're about to hit three. Not quite. Levels off for a little bit as we head towards this sprint point. But it's all gentle uphill. Now, the front riders are all back together. Nine riders, minute 40 up the road to them. No time bonuses for us, so nothing to compete for there. Let's see, Jumbo Visma has some support. Enios has some support. Uh, Bora Hunsgrove have some support. Otherwise, this is a lot of solo riders. I have one support rider right now. Killen is minute and a half. Gap's growing. And there's only a single rider in No Man's Land in between. And then Killen's group of four. So I think this 22, this is it. Now those nine riders, we are getting closer. And we're not even climbing yet, technically. 4.3. We're definitely going up. Even though we're not yet on the base of the climb. I uh, see Gin is already hurting. 25k to go. Holy cows. This is this is worrying. And this is why I, I say we're not a favorite because this is a hefty climb and it requires a strong team effort. You need two, three, four guys left in your team there. Killen Millar close. Didn't make it. Fifty-eight seconds to the front group. The first rider has shattered. Uh, we brought back is that Martinez. Might be Martinez. I don't know if he's still with EF. And here it is. First attack. Corn. Uh, Corn. Like uh, Kevin Rivera. 80 mountain, 75 resistance. And he. It's 20k out. Not responding to that. No, thank you. Let somebody else handle that one. Uh, again, not going to be around much longer. Another attack in the Rivera's group. still going. But that's 20k to go alone. To go solo. It's way too early for that. You can see we're bringing back a lot of the breakaway riders right now, but definitely not all. And Gin is fading. Gin is fading. Now, this peloton is actually getting smaller. There are riders that have already gone out. Quite a few. In fact, Gin's group just uh, broke off the, the, the rear. So, what do we have? About Chacone going back. Okay, he, he was up there on time. Yes, that was Martinez, six and a half minutes behind. Chacone... Chikone lost time somewhere along the, the line. He was uh, up there in the standings not too long ago. Pogachar going backwards. Wow. Really? 80 mountain, 82 resistance, and he's going backwards. I don't see support riders. That's a key thing. Actually, there is. He still has somebody up there. Nicola Conchi, 21st overall. Trentadu. There is McNulty. McNulty, 5th overall. So actually, it's been Pogachar working for McNulty. 83 mountain that's that's massive venipol is back in this group but a 76 mountain you figure he's gonna fade and he is sitting sixth place i figured he was around top five and yeah just about sixth okay next acceleration it's solaire in 11th so who's going the that's the second rider to go up the road champasin still working though yermakov there's Sivakov. Rodriguez doing well, but it's 16k to go. It's it's going to go flat for a while. We have a 22-man peloton. Gin is back in and back in protection of Rodriguez. So this is good for Rodriguez as we go through this flat section and hit this final part. Big gap to the front five, though. we got to watch out for that because Soler and Rivera both up there with Yates, Falter, and Mateo. That is way too strong of a group. Now Soler going clear, and here comes the attack. Here comes the attack. This is the time to respond. 
but it's 12k. I mean, come on. If we attack, they're gonna follow. Ten kilometers but remaining. it's gonna split the group. That's just the breakaway riders. That's not the guys who just attacked. It's Bernal. It's McNulty. It's Yermakov. How, when we attack with them, we are three bike links behind. How are we this far behind while attacking? And Rodriguez is actually capable of, as a sprinter, comparatively. Red bar is gone. Can we bridge that gap? That is now the front group. That's who we need to be riding with. Rubio, Tolet, Latour not going to be helping. They're not going to be useful as we begin this final climb, but now we've got to use that gel. 8k to go, and there they go. And we cannot be pushing an 82. No thank you. That, that left the group behind. 74. Riding solo. 13 riders not far behind, and we've made contact. Oh, that's good. That is good. Yermakov, Bernal, McNulty, Yates, Mateo, still three riders up the road. Soler, Rivera, Valter. Let's check in from the front. Okay, Soler, 249 down overall in 11th. Not a big deal if he claims a little time, but 81 Mountain 74 resistance and the first of climbing stages, you don't want him too far up the road. But he's been up the road solo for a while, so he's not going to have a lot of energy left. But look who has no energy left now, Rodriguez, to do what we did to be in this position. That's worrying. Valter, 246, and was in the break. Why? Why are 80 Mountain rating guys in the top 10 in the breakaway? Rivera, 8th, same, uh, almost identical, but he's now been up the road for a while. We find ourselves surrounded by the top 10 plus Mateo, who was in the break, and Yates, who was in the break. But it's it's Yates. Here goes Bernal. I am not chasing Bernal. I'm not chasing anybody. Rodriguez, with 6k to go, we need kilometers. to recover. Luckily, we are such a good climber that we are recovering right now as more riders start to take off and go up the road. Shoot, McNulty, Yermakov. We have got to use our skill as a climber, and look how hard it is to try to get away. And that was it. That was all we had for a sprint. We couldn't even get off the front of this group. And there's an attack at the front. He could go all the way. So, time is going to be lost today. We are hanging on in this group, but it's it's clear we are not among the elite climbers. Two point eight K. Hanging on, but nothing, no capability to attack. 2.2k, struggling to make it to the end. Here goes another rider off the front. I have no ability to chase. We are two and a half minutes behind. Two minutes is not much on a on this a win is well 50 billion he kilometer climb a like this one tenacity. 600 meters okay let's go let's go let's go we're waiting for the tail enders who Bernal for the win arrive. so that's how strong he is Solaire second McNulty Hershey fourth I never even saw Hershey's name anytime Yermica Valter Giampaolo Tentoni seventh Ugh, oh, we miss him Pablo Rodriguez 11th on the stage this is going to be a more consistent theme, I think, in this race. Okay, Rodriguez is good, but this is not an objective. It's not a fitness peak. He had a plus one today, but his team support was, yeah, it was left wanting. Ginn was there for a while, and it helped. Such a long climb, such a hard climb, that it really takes more than uh, 84.79. I mean... We had a good response there at one point, but why did he have to chase that many kilometers, right? Solo really did damage, uh, and, th and that's the problem on this hardest difficulty. Other riders seem to be able to do that more frequently and go, and then be able to go again. Rodriguez, 
is definitely better than some of those guys. And he's up there with many of them. But even then, whew, it's challenging. It is challenging. Not a bad result. But he's definitely losing that leader's jersey today. Uh, Sivakov, though, we finished together. There shouldn't be a time gap there. But Bernal, I think Bernal made up the two minutes he needed. Bernal's going to be in the race late. It's going to take the pressure off us a little bit because that, that breakaway, it was astounding how many... It, wa it wasn't just your Simon Yates, who are great climbers, but out of contention. It was guys in the top 10 in that breakaway. It was as high as sixth place in that breakaway. And that that created a little bit of an absurd them, scenario that silence. that just really shouldn't have been. Bernal, the new leader, as expected, half minute advantage. Oh, we don't get same time. We even lost time to those guys just in the final few hundred meters that attack and not being able to go with it. So Bernal into the race lead, McNulty up to second, Yermakov third, Sivakov fourth, and we slip to fifth place. Just like that. Soler, Hershey, Volter, Rivera, and Avedopol now the top 10. And the gaps are much wider than what they were. Also, those strong time trialists have disappeared. The guys who aren't necessarily climbers. Avenipol still there, kind of hanging on in 10th place. As somebody who's a good climber, great time trialist. Uh, Rivera is the opposite. Valter is the opposite. Hershey, surprising because of 75 mountain rating. I have no idea where Hershey came from. I didn't see his name at any point in the challengers. But again, great result. But now we're looking at a top six anyway who are the elite competitors. We're going to see a few other top climbers move back up the standings a bit. But you can see starting out of Venipole, huge gaps. Top nine, still in contention, but I'd say Rivera, Valter. Valter's only there because he was in the breakaway all day and just survived. Hershey, I don't know what was going on with that one. But we're looking at six riders, really, that are in contention. We need a top five. All we have to do is beat one of them. But quickly, we're on the back foot instead of the front foot. Not too many stages like that, though. Not too many stages ahead of us that are going to be that awful, that difficult, and that dependent on being the 84, 85 kind of mountain guy and having you know the extra magic of not being on the extreme difficulty where they seem to hold on a bit better in that type of stage than you can. Looking ahead... The next stage has so many similarities to what we just did, except for it doesn't finish with a 40-kilometer uphill into climb. It's more gradual. It's more gentle. That plays more into our favor. Stage 15, same sort of thing. Steep climb there just before the end, and then the downhill finish, but it's short. 16, same sort of thing. It's got a climb. It's got a tough climb. It's going to be a small group, but it doesn't finish in the most difficult of circumstances. 17 is similar to what we just did, but it's not as steep. It's not as long. And certainly leading up to it, I should have support climbers left when we hit that climb, and that's going to help. 19 is a tough one, but again, support climbers will be there when we begin. 20. Uh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Back to back, super hard, very short descent, so not much recovery. And there might not be a lot of riders left. So 20 is another one that, that's going to be tough. But none of them quite look like what we just did. That might have been the hardest stage we were going to see along the way. It hurt. But we might recover a bit in stages to come. What could really 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 hurt us along the way the rest of the way is big negative race day conditions rodriguez has been pretty tight and compact in the minus one to zero range most days he's now had a plus one and that was with a plus one uh, but 
the other stages aren't quite as bad. And if I have the support and play it well, tactically smart, and pressure's off our back, we're not leading now. They're not looking to attack us. They're looking to attack Bernal. That helps, right? Bernal not being the leader and being a couple of minutes back, it was easy for him to attack there. And who's supposed to respond? Rodriguez. Can R Rodriguez compete with Bernal? Honestly, no. And, and that sh really showed on that stage. So I like my chances a lot better now out of the lead. I don't like the position we're in, though. I mean, obviously, you'd rather have the advantage than coming from fifth place and trying to hang on to fifth place. But some easier stages ahead of us. That's going to do it for this one, though. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there, and bye for now.